I'm almost at the top. There's a massive storm rolling in behind me. I'm all alone up here, and I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to make it down in time. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm hiking Mount Lady McDonald. Be sure to stick around until the end of this video because I'm gonna be sharing with you four of Kaylee and I's favorite places to eat in Canmore. Because let's face it, after 10 kilometers and 1300 meters of elevation gain, you're going to be hangry. This hike starts pretty much right in the town of Canmore, just on the east side of the highway and it starts along Cougar Creek, but this is uh, one of the most popular hikes in Canmore and Kananaskis area. It is one of the Triple Crowns, so the other two are East End Arundel or Eeyore, and the last one is Haling, and those two hikes are just up on the other side of the highway. The trail is currently open, but it is closing for the summertime because they're doing some blasting and some flood rehab along Cougar Creek. So this is uh, one of the last chances I'm gonna have to hike this, I think, for this season. This is a pretty tough hike though. The views at the top are just amazing. I think I've done this hike about three times. Uh, you can hike all the way up to the peak or you can also hike up to the helipad, which is a really popular spot. It's just above the tree line and it also has beautiful views. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the peak today because it is March 26th. I don't know how the conditions are gonna be, but we'll see as we're going up. It's a good idea to avoid hiking if it's windy out because the wind at the top can be crazy. Um, if you can hike this on a calm day like today, uh, it's your best bet. You can see all the rehab they're doing. I think they stopped during the winter time, but they're gonna start back up in April here. So gotta get the hike in while I can. Right up there, Mount Lady Mac. If you guys wanna make it all the way up to the peak, it's gonna be 1300 meters of ele elevation gain. Whew. You can tell it's decently steep. And about 10 kilometers. If you guys just wanna go to the heli platform, It'll be 1,000 meters and eight kilometers. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is David, and me and my fiance Kaylee run a travel blog called Made to Explore, where we do adventurous stuff just like this. If you haven't checked out our Canadian Rockies guide, I will link it below. It has dozens of hikes throughout the Canadian Rockies, along with a whole lot of other information. We've sold hundreds of these guides, and we've received a lot of positive feedback. So if you wanna check that out, again, I'll link it below and up in the corner here. If you love adventure as much as we do and you're traveling to the Canadian Rockies, this guide is perfect for you. You can tell this hike's open year round, mostly. Um, I would check all trails though. Usually there's recent reviews, people saying how it is. That's a great app to have, especially for this whole area. And, oh, the elevation. My gosh, it's been a long winter, I'm out of shape. Some of the gear that I would definitely bring on this hike, good boots, poles. If you're doing it in the winter, definitely crampons or micro spikes. Um, layer up, definitely bring a windbreaker in case wind or rain or the weather changes. And water and a good snack for a treat at the top. Because if you do this hike, you should be proud of yourself. It's a tough one. And this isn't high enough for you. Try doing the Triple Crown, Hulling, East End Arundel, and Lady Mac. That's what they call it around here, and it's tough. Also, bear spray. Don't know why I forgot that one, but do not forget bear spray. I made the mistake of wearing fleece line pants because I thought it was going to be a little colder, and now I'm just sweating like crazy. You can tell my glasses are fogging up. Whew. I'm stoked. I've done this hike once before, and it's just the views from above are magnificent. They're absolutely beautiful, so I'm pretty excited. Why 1,300 meters of elevation gain wouldn't be enough is a bit beyond me, but I would like to do the Triple Crown. 
getting all three in one day would be quite the accomplishment. If you're wondering why Kaylee isn't on this hike with me, because usually she would be, along with Bailey, she had a bit of a rough night last night. I don't know if it was something she ate, but she was feeling pretty ill and not up to doing this today, so just gonna be me. I will also link below all the gear that Kaylee and I use while we're hiking in the Rockies. Poles, crampons, camera clip, backpack, all that good stuff. Check it out below if you're looking for some new gear. See, in this, that's why I need to put on my crampons, because it is slick. This is also a fantastic hike to do in the springtime because most of the ridge is southern facing and it doesn't have a lot of shade on it. It tends to melt off a lot quicker than a lot of the other hikes. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a spring hike. Whew. Damn these fleece line pants. Holy shit. I'm sweating so bad. Whew. Such a mistake. Be weird if I took them off. Time to come around the corner. Boxers. Not surprise anyone? Probably. Probably a bad idea. Usually get better. And I'm nowhere near the top. Everyone I passed if anyone's made it to the peak, but no one has yet, so I'm kind of wondering if it's uh, gonna be possible to go past the helipad or tea house and up to the peak. I just passed a couple and they said there's been a lot of people actually going up to the peak, so that's exciting. And just got a view of the peak and I can actually see people up there and it doesn't look too bad, so fingers crossed, make it up. You probably won't be able to see it. They are right up there. It's too bad. We woke up this morning and it was blue skies, but now it's clouded over, which kind of sucks, but at least it's not hurricane winds. So it should be calm at the top, I'm guessing. I just watched a girl slide about 20 feet down the trail on her butt, and it did not look fun. She was okay, but it is so important to wear good crampons when you're hiking in snow and ice. Micro spikes, on the other hand, can only do so much and are more made for sheer ice, like frozen water. But when there's a snowpack and it's slippery and steep, gotta have good crampons. I'll link the ones we use below, they're on Amazon, they're only about 30 or 40 bucks, so a really important purchase to have for winter hiking. I remember when I pass, aren't you cold? And I'm always like, no, something like crazy. Or the mistake of fleece line pants. Usually when Kaylee and I hike in the winter time, I'll pack the jet boil, bring some hot chocolate, and it's a nice treat when you get to the top. Keeps you warm while you take a nice breather too. Whew. Wow, it's getting gorgeous up here. Just got above the tree line and it started to snow, which kind of sucks. Cause that means there's clouds moving in and the view is going away, but Hopefully I can make it to the peak before that rolls over here. So, time to hustle. Ten minutes ago, it was snowing. Now, the sun has come out. And it's beautiful. Ah, love weather.
Love weather when it works out. Wow. That's gorgeous. Let's take a look at that view. It's just beautiful. Got the three sisters, town of Canmore, Haling, East End of Rundle, the rest of Rundle, and then into Banff National Park and Cascade Mountain is actually right down there. Just, just exceptional views. For the people who have done this hike, and Haling, and East End Arundel, I would love to know which one is your favorite. So comment below, let me know. Because I think, I think this one is my favorite out of all three. I am just on the way down, made it up to the top all right, and was able to have a break, and the storm actually held off, which was very lucky. Um, yeah, I was getting pretty worried there. There was uh, no one around, and it seemed to be coming in pretty fast. You can see it's still snowing, but definitely not as hard, and the sun is kind of peeking out now. So yeah, it held off and got to enjoy some beautiful views. Some other people joined me at the top and got to take a few photos of them. And now I'm just on the way down. Um, from the helipad up to the peak, it is honestly pretty much a scramble. Wearing some gloves is a good idea because the rock is pretty sharp and you are gonna use your hands at some point. It's, uh, it's awesome, it's well worth it. And then uh, just on the way down, take your time going down and be sure not to slip and fall because it can be uh, kind of scary at points. The uh, trail tends to split up in a lot of areas and the rock is quite sharp. And in the winter time, there's obviously snow and it's slippery, so take it easy. As far as the length of time goes for this hike, I made it up in about two, two and a half hours. And I think down it'll probably be like an hour, hour and a half. So about three and a half to four hours um, was my time. I think average is probably between four and six. Um, it's, yeah, it's a challenging hike. Like if you guys, if you guys see this hike, well done. Cause it's, it's a hard one. I am just getting back to the trailhead. And without further ado, I wanted to share with you guys four of Kaylee and I's favorite restaurants in Canmore. So, these are in no particular order because they're all fantastic, but the first one is Rome with the Buffalo. It has great food, it's locally owned. Next up is the Grizzly Paw. It's been around for a long time. They also brew their own beers and make their own pot. Blake Restaurant and Brew House is also a delicious place to go and eat. And, if you finish this hike earlier in the day and you want to get a late breakfast or lunch because you've earned it, we'd highly recommend going to the Rocky Mountain Bagel Company. It's really popular in Canmore. I'm sure a lot of you have actually been there, but they just have delicious food. Those are our four favorite restaurants in Canmore. And if you're as hangry as I am, there's no time for decision making. It is time to eat. Of course, Canmore is full of great restaurants. So if you have your favorite, be sure to head there, because like I said, you are ended after this hike. If you like this video, be sure to like it, smash that subscribe button, or lightly click it. Whatever floats your boat and tickles your fancy, you get the point. Found uh, a little bit of garbage on the trail. Don't litter, please. Also, click the link below, check out our Canadian Rockies guide. It is incredible, and you will love it. Decided to try something new this time for dinner because there's so many fantastic restaurants in Canmore. I went to Tavern 1883 
and Kaylee went to community. And <laughs> our meals are a little different. We were feeling something different. not the same <laughs> because I did a big hike and Kaylee did a lot of work today and kind of healed from not feeling so well last <laughs> night. And we're gonna show you what's going on here. Pad Thai from Community. Which honestly looks It really looks good. really good, yeah, yeah. Lots of veggies, I got extra veggies on there, just like exactly what I was craving. And David. And then I went for a massive burger <laughs> with poutine and ice cream cookie dough bites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> and it is bone appetite time, so. <laughs> See you in the next one. How does one fit this in his mouth? <laughs> the biggest burger I've ever seen. See you on the other side. <laughs>